Hi everyone, this is Raju Mahatu. On my last video, I have shown you the how can we get the number of section present in the table using titanium. So here you can see that on click of any of the rows, I can display the number of row section here present on the table as there is a num only three section. So continuing with that, let's find out how can you get the number of rows present on a specific section? Like if I click on these rows, how can you get the number of section present under this? Uh, sorry, number of rows present un under this section, section 2. So let's go to the code. Here, uh, here is my view. So here you can see that I have a section, different section table view section and the different rows defined under the these sections so let's add some more rows under the same section different different section let's rename it the title I am modifying now let's add more rows for different section Now let's add more rows to the third section and renaming the title now to get the number of rows under specific section we have a ta on click event on a table view so we will implement our logic on the same click event function defined for the table view. So earlier we have a show section count function which generally display the number of section present on the table view. So let's rename this function. So it will let's make the function name like show section row count. Same way let's assign it on the click event of the table view now here as we have already seen this variable is defined to display the number of section so here it is section count so let's rename it as a section row count and we need to just modify this few portion of the of this section so that we can get the section row count so here up to this portion we will get the number of sorry the number of all the number of section so for a specific section here I need to like for section 2 so for section 2 let's get the number of row count here so up to this it gets the section got that section with that table within that table and this will count the number of rows present under this this same section that is defined in a one position as it is started from zero position so it's on the f second position how, no how many number of rows are there so it will calculate so let's display it on the alert message so here I'm assigning the variable here now let's run it sorry now here I have given the section header sorry the section number as a hard coded value we can also mm, define it dynamically so that you uh, on click of any of the row of any of the section we can get the number of rows present under those under that section so here you can see that there is a three section here which holds three different number of rows so like 
on click of this section it will definitely show the number of rows present under this section so this section 2 contains 6 so generally it should display the number 6 with a within that alert so here you can see that total section row count 6 is 6 so let's check it for third section so the index will be the 2 let's check it on simulator go for running the app so here's it's compiling so it's loading now now here as we have set the row count for the section third section so let's see how many sections are there present on this section third section there is seven rows so like on click of this any of the row on this this section it will it must show the row count as a seven so let's check it so here you can see that total section row count is seven so by this way we can get the number of rows present in a specific section so it can be also done by uh, done in di dynamically so that we can we need not fix the hard coded value on the js file so this is for getting the number of section row count on section so continuing with that on my next video i will describe you the how can we get the number of rows present in all the section so that will be the total number of rows present in the table with different section so up to this for today thanks